Welcome back, everyone, to Minnesota Varsity League and the state tournament for Rocket League. My name is Thunder McFadden, and I am joined by my main man, Skepter. As always, Skepter, we've had a fun-filled and awesome day. We're going to go to the brackets right now and take a look and see what we've seen already and what we have coming up for these games. Our next matchup going to be, it doesn't show down there in the bronze match, but we have St. John's Prep and Farmington coming up next, and then a little bit later, Hill Murray and St. Louis Park. What are you looking for most in these in this next matchup that we have for the third place, for the bronze uh, on the season? What are you looking for here in Farmington and St. John's Prep? Well, I mean, we saw we saw a rematch. You know, it's funny because the both the games we casted last weekend are what we're seeing as the finals, you know? Farmington yep. played against St. John's Prep last week, and yep. it went all five games. Yep. And I'm honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we had another five game series between them. You know, these teams, especially with you know a loss coming out on the day for uh, St. John's Prep, they've kind of trended, you know, a little bit down towards the end of the season. We haven't seen as much of the stellar highlight plays that we were kind of seeing towards the beginning with El Bloop and Mr. Math, but hopefully they can still you know gain back. A little bit of morale for this, right? Because third place is still something to play for. Third place in yeah. the state finals is still something to be proud of, right? I mean, mm. this was our second best team coming into the finals today. You know, yep. these guys have been one of the better teams throughout the season. And for Farmington, it's a little bit of a rematch, you know? Yeah. Seeing if they can get, you know, get back the the loss that they had last week and try to get make it make it a right, you know, make it a win. I and think getting third so. place would be big. I think I think for Farmington, it's about a rematch as much as it's about redemption, actually, for them. You know, I mean, Farmington is one of those teams. They've got the talent. They've got it all right there. They've performed throughout the season. OK, they've done a great job. St. Louis Park, also a team that has done excellent work throughout the season. And I mean, if you're St. Louis Park right now going into this bronze matchup, you Saint, cannot Saint be mad. St. John's Prep. Did I say St. Louis Park? Yeah. St. Yeah. John's Prep. Hey, I made jokes about them confusing the casters. <laughs> yeah, and look, yeah, now they've good. done it, right? Yeah. Uh, St. John's Prep. They cannot be mad at that loss. Not at all. Not at all. The fact that they're in the bronze matchup, it, it, that should not be a disappointment to them in any way because that fight against St. Louis Park, okay, was exactly that. It was a matchup of two titans in Minnesota Varsity League, and they performed extremely well. Now, mm -hmm. Farmington, again, they want it. They are coming in strong, and I believe that they have a great chance going up against St. John's Prep right now. Here we go, man. We got St. John's Prep versus Farmington. Now St. John's Prep's rocking the red. This is what I was waiting for last game. It confused me, honestly, but I guess red and orange <laughs> don't look good together, so it'd be pretty gross for everybody's eyes. But, hey, <laughs> that doesn't matter because we're in the third-place match right now. You know, winner of this is taking home the bronze. Yep, we got Maverick in, rocking, not rocking the energy car, but he's back in. That's good to see. Mr. Math, we got SJP Sam stepping back in now for slider count. And surely L Bloop to close things out on the St. John's prep side. Sergeant Wonky, Maverick, and Awesome will be playing for Farmington. L Bloop back at the point. Nice clear here. Trying to step up big. Both teammates back to defend right now. Maverick now. Opportunity trying to step into the corner. SJP Sam good clear. Trying to follow up. One in the boost tank there. So not going to help him out too much. But it's enough to get a goal. A little pass off to Mr. Math. And that's a huge score early on for St. John's Prep here. Look at this. The one little boost right there on the jump. Yep. And, <laughs> and over to Mr. Math. And that's perfect right there. Sam coming in, you make that comment about the boost. You saw two flips from Sam before that. So Sam knew he was low on boost and yeah. flip into it to get it going and use that last little bit at the end. Great play out of Sam. I mean, I'm yeah. telling you, that was that was some that was some big brain stuff right there. Yeah, I'm man. telling you. I'll, I'll say too, I was surprised Sam didn't get his chance to play today uh, yeah. against St. Louis Park. You know, he he really stepped up and he was one of the main reasons that St. John's Prep looked so good last week, but for you a know, different time, different conversation probably. Totally. You know, I mean, I think I think at the end of the day, you know, we can all say coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? But yep. slider count, slider count was no slouch 
in that matchup. And Slider Count had a goal or had at least a couple of assists that were really, really smooth. Oh, there we go. Maverick, Maverick to tie it up. Yeah, a little bit of an own goal there, it looks like. I think I saw a red car come in and hit this, but Maverick puts it out. Oh, yeah. SJB Sam casually going to knock that one in. Yep, just uh, <laughs> right right there. That's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll happen yeah. sometimes. <laughs> just, you know, Sam can't do anything about that. My car was right here. Why'd you hit the ball at me? You know what I mean? It's yeah. not his fault. Awesome. Getting past the defender. Trying to slide by L Blue, but we all know how hard of a task that one is. Yeah. Dangerous <laughs> in the goal, L Blue, I'll tell you. Mr. Math trying to step up now. Now, this is a good aggression for Farmington, you know. This is looking like what they were showing us against Washington in the first match today. Yep. Nice little opportunity. Lots of traffic out front here. Surely that one doesn't go in. El Bloop now with an opportunity, chopping it away. Nice little slide oh. there. El Bloop couldn't finish. Very Not close. White with the finish, but hey, that ball handling was impressive. I will tell you that right there. Oh, yeah. Coming through, people don't understand how hard it is to keep that ball on top of your car. It is insane. And I was up until 2 a.m. last night playing Rocket League. Wow, wow, there we go, Loki with a score. <laughs> awesome off the backboard. Hooking up his teammate, Sergeant Wonky. And that's more play out of Farmington. That's what we were seeing. Uh, that's what we saw exactly the same thing from them in game one, you know, when they were playing against Washington. Working wow. it into the corner, getting that ball off the back wall, and a teammate following up. El Bloop with a nice little shot here. Off the oh post. My. Don't tell the me. Ball. And a follow-up. Yes. El Bloop's oh. there to bury. El Bloop is everywhere. Oh, man. Just making loops all around the field. El Bloop, if the ball's there, he's there. And tying it up, that is massive for St. John's Prep. Look at that. Coming in with yeah. that white tuxedo. That's a huge goal for El Bloop there. Massive. Yeah, well, we'll see. Two to two, man. Keeping it close. Farmington and SJP. Awesome now. Going to the half wall, losing out on the 50 ball to Mr. Math. El Bloop with the follow-up. Little setup as well. Mr. Math trying to get oh. in on that. But Maverick bats it away at the last second there. Sergeant was Walking that Maverick can go right there? That was great. That was that fantastic. Was. I thought that ball was going to slip past the threshold and be a goal right there. But no, that was fantastic save. Get it out of there. Mr. Math now trying to bully Wonky out of his oh. way and couldn't oh. bury. Wonky's body Wonky. block ended up saving a goal there. Wonky, oh seriously, that kid is just making it happen today. Let's see if SJP can get anything else out of this. SJP Sam now trying to work his way into the corner here. Mr. Math with a nice shot. L Bloop on the follow-up. Not able to get as much of it as he wanted. Mr. Math steps up big though at the midfield. Trying to close in now. Wonky. I still touch the midfield, but that's Mr. Math up at the crossbar. Bounces out front. El Bloop on the follow-up. Not able to find it. Oh, Good look there. SJP so Sam now. For it right there. Not able to capitalize, but really, really trying for it right there. Yeah, back and forth right now. SJP is keeping this in the Farmington zone, though. And El Bloop off the backboard almost buries. 40 seconds to play. Awesome now. Nice little clear. Great touch for El Bloop up top. Farmington now working into the corner of St. John's Prep. Seeing if they can get anything going. Mr. Math taps it by one defender. Trying to jump into the midfield, but Wonky steps up big. Knocks it back the other way. SJP Sam stepping up now. His turn. Kicking it. Trying to kick it out front, but couldn't find it. And Awesome's going to clear it. We got 15 seconds to play. Awesome now with an opportunity. It's out front, and Wonky's going to bury. 10 seconds left to go. And that's a huge go-ahead goal now for Farmington. Wonky on the day. Hello, Sergeant. Time to salute him because with 10 seconds left, he has taken Farmington up by a score over St. John's Prep, which is the second seed, one of the powerhouse teams in this Minnesota Varsity League. And Farmington, this is the play we have wanted to see out of them all season. It is yep. we, it is what we know they have been capable of, and they are up a game right now. Big ups to Farmington. Let's go. Yeah, man, this, this is... This right here, I'm telling you right now, this is the type of play we've wanted to see out of Farmington all season. They're coming up huge. Yeah, what dude. is going on? 
I no, love dude, it. We talked, we, you know, it got to the point where it, it like felt bad saying how we're seeing the good things that Farmington is doing because of how many times, you know, the games just weren't going their way. But today the games are going their way, man. This is what we've been saying out nope. of this team. Like exactly. Like we said, nope. how competitive these guys keep all their games. You know, it was a shame they were losing so much in the early season. They were playing great ball. You're right. But, I'm telling you, I got so sick and tired of watching them lose. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dude. I mean, I mean it. you know, watching them go out on the field every week, uh, week in and week out, it's seeing the talent that Farmington has. You know, I mean, we've seen all season what St. John's Prep is capable mm -hmm. of. We have. But we have known all season that Farmington is there. They're progressing and they're improving. They are a team that has improved steadily all season. And we are mm -hmm. seeing the results today. I am so impressed. Yeah, Can't believe it. it. It might have been a little troll for me to say it at the midseason, but back when like Hill Maria was four and zero or something or five and zero, I did call Farmington to beat him in an upset, but that oh surely my, didn't happen. Oh my! They got three would but the series itself was like kind of close. Like some of the games were close. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Farmington has always been right there. They always have, and they are showing up here against St. John's Prep, which again is one of the best teams in the league. L Bloop is everywhere on the field. Mr. Math is everywhere. They are always making things happen. It's such, such a tough team to go up against. And we've got some exciting uh, games going on today. Yeah, no, I mean, today was going to be a great day. We all knew it. The action is going to be unmatched compared to the rest of the season, especially since it's tournament time. Everybody's trying to step it up that, to that next level and really trying to come out and make it out as a, you know, a state champion. Yep, today it is it is literally for all the marbles on this fall season. Uh, Wonky! And, Ooh, Mr. Math back at the doorstep. Whew. Farmington, that's so good. Dude, wonky. and this is the aggression that has been missing, you know? This is the aggression that we've been talking about all season, but El Blue is going to roll it, that off to Sam, and Sam's going to bury. Look at El Blue, oh. man. The way that this guy can just keep the ball like on him at all times is pretty funny. Like yep. it, it's almost like it's glued to the top. They're playing like yep. with mini games or something. Hey, I made that comment before. The the difficulty level of keeping that ball on top of your car, yeah, it's, it's not crazy. Easy. I mean it. It's crazy. I'm not capable of it. I'm trying, but I'm not capable of it. And seriously, it takes so much effort to do that. El Bloop showing that skill. Awesome back on defense now. El Bloop, yeah, man. This car is sick too. Like I, I've already said that, but. He's yep. going to have to hook me up with his skin guy or something. Cause yeah, I mean, right? I mean, like he's that. just completely balling. There is no I mean, other way to put it on the I field mean, and with the style. Yeah, surely <laughs> surely the, the Alpine skin comes in first place, but that El Blue skin's pretty nice. That can have second place locked up. Alpine definitely taking the lead, though, on the skin department. Oh, yep. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Mr. Math and El Bloop now going in on two-on-one -on, on Maverick. Opportunity out front. El Bloop can't find it, but SJP Sam getting up on the aerial play. Wonky looking for it. Can't find it. Sam coming into the corner now. El Bloop having something to say. Over to Sam. Nothing there. El Bloop off the backboard. Not the backboard. Off his back of his car, rather. Little demo in the corner. Farmington getting aggressive, and Wonky's coming in. Wow. Could not have been closer than that. Hits oh. the top of the crossbar and bounces out. That's unlucky. And... Oh. They put it in for him anyway. Yeah. I think, I think Look SJP Sam's got two own goals on the on the series so far. Well, this right and here. Oh, it was Mr. Matt this time. No, I know those goals. I'm going to say it regardless, but those are goals that you can't help. You're trying to get it out of the zone, and it's just too late. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, those ones don't really like, count as old. Yeah, own a goals. true yeah. own goal is kind of it's it's. It, I mean, a true own goal is when you're making a little bit of a bonehead move, right? It's when you're making a little bit of a like ah, well that uh, that shouldn't happen. Both of these goals, these have been just unfortunate positioning, and you know, right there, Mister Math. Oh, honestly, look at that snipe oh, coming out from Math. That was a beautiful shot from him. Back it right outside of the goal crease there, just. Yep. Hitting everything he had on it, and it goes right over Mr. Math there. 
yeah, flips it instead of trying to go and take it up with the nose and try to get it into the air. Nice, I mean, and the wherewithal to know that there wasn't anybody close enough to take on a ball that was coming in that slow. He knew he didn't have to follow it. Knew he just had to put it up and put it in. Boom, Farmington's up by a goal. What? Yeah, Look at this Farmington. team. That's another, that's oh, another right another there. Another one just okay. slow on Maverick. What? Maverick, Maverick, what? Maverick, put the brakes on and slow down. El Bloop jumps the gun here. Watch this. Beep. Oh, wow. And El shoots past. Beautiful that little finesse play from Maverick there. You know, this Farmington team is really showing out right now. A they, lot of people are gonna take this for granted. I think if these guys win, you know, they almost match their wins on the season today alone in, in series wins, if they can take out SJP here today. You're because right. I think they only won three games in the regular season and they could come out with two alone on today. I'm gonna confirm it for you right now. Farmington. El Farmington. Blue over the top though. He's not done. He's got something to say. Beautiful goal out of him. Watch this. Look at this. Touch for himself. Yep. Get up in the air. And awesome, buddy. You're a little bit too low for that one, all right? You're not going to yep. have any fun with this. Yeah, you do not want to commit like that when you're going up against Bloop because, honestly speaking, of all the players on the field, El Bloop, he's a half a step ahead of you. He just is. It's how he plays the game. And sometimes it sometimes it puts him in a, in a compromising position, honestly. Uh, it, it, he can get a little ahead of himself every once in a while, but he, he, I mean, just truly, that speed out of El Bloop is always something that you have got to contend with. You have to. You have to watch out. Yeah, man. El Bloop starting to show up. We got a minute 20 left. SJP is going to need something to happen. And as I say that, El Bloop to the net. Boom! It, the it, up. it goes down the entire way of the field, man. El Bloop. It's crazy how many times this guy can show up and make huge plays for St. John's Prep to keep him in keep him in the game, man. Two of those games in their series against St. Louis Park were pushed into overtime based on El Blue goals, like exclusively. He's you really showing up. Literally see you can literally see the talent on this kid. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Look at Blue coming through, coming in huge for his team to tie it up and keep them in it up against the Farmington team that is showing up and they ate their and they ate their breakfast this morning. They make it happen. And they, all of this, all of this right now is coming up for some awesome Rocket League. Sergeant Wonky to himself. Oh, oh Wonky, the sleeper. What the is going on with Wonky man. today? Oh, Unbelievable. Beautiful setup in the follow-ups there. My well, goodness, the back Sergeant and forth. Sergeant Wonky in, the, in these series is laser-focused. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, El On the ball, in the right position, look at Wonky go. He's playing like El Bloop. All right, he's got one goal. El Bloop's got like two. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm sure. <laughs> Come on. El Bloop now. Hey. Down 30 seconds, or down one goal with 30 seconds left, but Mr. Math, opportunity off the crossbar. It's not to be El Bloop, though. Nice little touch. We know what happens when this touch happens. El Bloop from the heavens! Raining you, down! We you know, know exactly it. what happens. I said it. We know exactly what happens when we see this kind of a touch from El Bloop. And look at this. He keeps the ball in the air with him, and he just drops it for him. Here's, here's a little present for Farmington. You know, you guys can go up one goal with under a minute to play. Doesn't matter. El Bloop's on the field. He's going to bury. That's a Hattie. And here he goes again. Woo. Oh, just off. But he is wanting it. And I'm telling you, I said I'm it before. Seconds. I'm seconds. Another goal for Maverick. Oh, Maverick taking control. What has happened? Look at go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coming in hot. The ball what? is there. And wow. El Bloop can get Nobody up on home. it. There's four seconds. Surely not. St. John's Prep has not dropped the ball. Got to be. It's going to have to happen on the faceoff here. It's got to go the way of St. John's Prep. The time is going to run out, though. El Bloop trying to get on it. Pushing the ball forward. Who's going to touch keeping it? it El, Bloop. El Bloop. El Bloop keeping it up. it up. Sets it up oh for a teammate. My. What is this? Look at that setup. Oh, but nobody's it there. I do it, but if there's anybody you can count on to keep it in the air, it is El Bloop man up. What? Wow. Yeah, the ball what? right on his cart. He flicks it backwards for the setup. I thought Mr. Math was going to come in flying in out of nowhere, you know, but that's not, not what we got, you know. Yeah, the effort 
putting in and the fact that it's it's in a third place match too and he's still putting it all on yeah. the line maverick Brilliant scoring win. with five seconds left man the back and forth is there yep. st john's prep down now another 2-0 farmington man this is the team that we were telling you guys about man yeah. all season long me and thunder were trying to stress this team as a dark horse okay a team that could really show up and cause mayhem on the day of the mm -hmm. tourney and that's what they're doing right now up 2-0 yep. against the number two seed in Minnesota Varsity League, folks. Yes. Okay? Yes. Farmington came you in at like a five seed, or four, four rather. Yeah. Four. I, I mean, mean, they okay. came in at a four seed, but they, were, but they were also barely a four seed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it was, I mean, it was so kind of like slicing and dicey in between four and six right there. All of those teams kind of on the same and, and, and on technically a losing season. But you're right. We have stressed all, all season. We have stressed it that these players for Farmington are not going anywhere. And yeah. they're making it hard on El Bloop and the crew. Yeah, here we go, man. Going into game three, is El Bloop and St. John's Prep done? Or they have surely they haven't had enough. You know, they this is a team that is always hungry and you know, they're looking for more. They want this third place spot. We know the competition that these guys bring and the competitive attitude. Anyways, anyway. awesome now trying to get up on this for Farmington, trying to lead the way here. El Bloop back in the paint. Oh, nice little touch. Nobody home for the for the Tigers, and El Bloop's going to get it going early here in game number three. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at that. You just cannot give El Bloop that type of space. He's going to take advantage of it every time and make things happen. Look at him go. Man. Boom. Yeah, man. You give El Bloop time and space to work, and it does not end well for your team. you got to be putting pressure on him right from the get-go. SJP Sam now with a little setup. Not going to find the back of the net. Farmington now trying to push it forward. Nice stop at the midfield for El Bloop. Coming out on top on the 50. Nice setup, though. Off the backboard. Who's there? It's El Bloop to finish. Mr. Oh. Math over to El Bloop. Another Gino for El Bloop out front. Beautiful stuff out of him. A little triple touch action. Off awesome. El Bloop to awesome to El Bloop back in the net. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, just clinical stuff, classic stuff out of St. John's Prep. Not acting like they're down by two games. They do not care. They are coming out to play and coming out to fight. And that is this team. That's the team we've seen all season. And that's why they're one of the most exciting teams in this league. Yeah. We'll see if Farmington can get back going here. I'm sure SJP doesn't want to give them any room back into this game. Ooh, nice little clear out of the danger zone there for El Bloop. Ball traveling out in front of that net. That's never what you want. Too much, way too much danger. Nice clear from Mr. Math, though. Can he follow up on it? Nice little setup pass. Looks like it's going off the backboard, but Austin gets up on it. Nice little aerial play out of him. El Bloop now. Trying to get this ball into the corner. Good setup pass. SJP Sam off of El Bloop. Oh, wow. El Bloop. Nice. Wow. And not what you want to see if you're Farmington. Definitely this. not. This Look is. This is cool. El Bloop stopping on it, jumping up into that, man. Just like you, these it... goals out of El Bloop. What? How? How? Yeah. But it's but it's it's the Bloop factor. Yeah, well, that's what it is. There's no other way of putting it. I mean, it, it's just that that's him. That's him. That's how he throws down. That's how he makes it happen. Beautiful out of El Bloop, man. Really, really trying to show some leadership now and try, probably pulling this St. John's team together because... You know, we've seen a lot of him all season. We've always seen the extraordinary play. Here's another opportunity. Awesome. Saving that one. But, yeah, ne never giving up right now. Staying hungry. Farmington trying to claw their way back into this thing. This is making it look like this series hasn't been close, but Farmington's up 2-0 to zero on the games. Yeah. No, you're totally – I mean, there's – this right here, Farmington – kind of just i mean i think a couple of opportunities that saint john's prep really was able to take advantage of is what has been the El difference Bloop in this particular front. game Where's because we've teammate? seen really 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 tight gameplay out of uh, both teams everyone committing there for the side of saint john's prep gonna have to double back and get back now mr math trying to stop this one at the midfield 
SJP Sam can't get anything on it. Bloop, nice little touch. See if his teammates can clear that. Nice touch for Math. Sam looking for it. Wonky coming out on top, though. But Sam's got it in the corner now. What's going to happen out of this? Maverick getting up on it. Not able to find it there. Farmington struggling to get this ball cleared. But as I say that, Wonky takes care of that. Closing in now. Going to need some Wonky magic or something for Farmington. The time's going to start to become an issue here if we don't get anything happening. Minute 30 to play. Mr. Math pushing forward now, trying to track this ball down in this Farmington zone. Nice win on that battle. Good pinch out of him. El Bloop stepping up now. Big play. Trying to follow it up. Opportunity a little bit off. Still in the corner with it. Yet yeah, El Bloop's always twisting and turning with his car too. Other guys are driving straight, and he's like driving next to him in the air, spinning around doing 180s. Farmington yeah. with an opportunity. Oh, look at that pass! They capitalized. From Wonky to Maverick, a oh, two on one, a two on one, and Wonky realizes the pressure coming at him from Mr. from El Bloop rather, and dishes it over to Maverick, and that's as pretty of a finish as you guys are gonna get. Oh, beautiful play, great out of Farmington effort. there. Really great effort. You know, you make the comment about El Bloop being all over the field, always being right there, always moving. You're right. He come, he kind of phases in and out of this shadow defense sometimes. He's always bumping. He's always moving and finding his way into the situation. Now, El Bloop, every once in a while, can overcommit just a tad. Can but it doesn't happen on very this? often. And they are, I mean. Oh, Sam with the clear. Mr. Math and Sam have an opportunity now. El Bloop trying to step up on it. Awesome coming out on top, Mr. Math. Nice little tap, but yeah. Maverick's getting up on Sweet it. Sweet power slide right there into the tap. Farmington is starting to work this zone now. 30 seconds on the clock. SJP just got to keep this zone cleared out, but Wonky now trying to step up. L Bloop trying to clear this zone. Can't do it. Mr. Farmington. Math, though. Nice touch for Mr. Math. Going to drain the clock a little. Farmington trying to swing things back into their favor right now. 15 yep. seconds on the clock. It's going to have to be now. It has nice to happen quick. Awesome. Unfortunate. Time that is just against them at this yep. point. And this one going the way of St. John's Prep in a hard-fought battle. Oh. Opportunity at the what end a here. Day. And they're going to let the game end. S -J -P. Going into game four. SJP. SJP making it happen, man. Wow. Showing Are out. we seeing... Are we seeing the beginnings of a reverse sweep? I, I, I'm, I am not the type of a caster where I can make a prediction. I just am not. I am going to say there is a complete and total possibility of us uh, seeing a reverse sweep here. What are your thoughts going into this I mean, game for here, boss? Here, so if we want to spice it up a little bit, I'll call the reverse sweep. Okay. I'll take, say, John's prep. I think there they can go. do it. We saw a little bit less uh, aggression coming out from Farmington, honestly. That was mm -hmm. looking a little concerning because the reason Farmington was looking so good today and in those first two matches is the amount of forward pressure they were putting in on that the opposing team, right? Mm -hmm. Washington couldn't clear the ball. They couldn't do anything in their zone. And in those first two matches, it didn't look like El Bloop could do anything in his own zone. And SJP was struggling. But mm -hmm. this last match kind of looked like a new leaf was turned. Looked like SJP was getting back into the swing of their old play. And, you know, if that would be the case, then I'm sure that SJP – SJP have enough, you know, to push this one against Farmington. We'll see. I mean, all it's going to take is one game for Farmington at the end of the day, right? And they've mm -hmm. been playing exceptionally well today. So, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, they're I coming know. out. We got kickoff coming up here, and Farmington is trying to put it away. SJP is trying to do what they did in game three take advantage of opportunities, take advantage of little mistakes that Farmington is making because guess what? They came to play, they're only making little mistakes on the day. This is exciting stuff in this game four. Yeah. They got Sam in too. Sam looks good with this trio, man. I wasn't kidding when I was, when you and I were talking to El Bloop that one time and we were like kind of throwing out our a name in the hat. Sam plays plays really well with this team. Plays really conserved when needed and El Bloop's going to get it going early. Never mind, awesome stuffing it at the doorstep. But Sam is there to follow. What's that name we were just talking about, Thunder? Oh, it was SJP Sam. Look at that. El Bloop sure gets enough. stuffed at the doorstep and look at Sam. Following the leader right there. That's what El Bloop was missing earlier. I'll tell and you for Sam a fact. Sam follows up big. I'll tell you for a fact. You were talking about Sam. You were talking about him just right before he scored that goal. And what were you talking about? You were talking about him scoring goals and showing up. And that's exactly what he has done. If SJP wants to come in and wants to make this reverse sweep happen, that is what has to continue.
to Ooh. happen. For nice touch for Mr. Math, clearing that one out to midfield. And yeah, it feels like we're starting to see a little bit more reserve from Farmington, it feels like. There's not that Tiger instinct that, you know, moving in and trying to get this lead. It seems like SJP has a lot more time and space with the ball as well. We're not seeing any demos, you know? Yeah. It just seems a little different. Yep, I completely agree. I think Farmington, they got to turn, they just really got to nice turn up the heat Wonky. like they did and like they have been doing all day. But here we go. SJP, time to turn it up a little bit. Up 1 0, 3 minutes 40 seconds to play here in game number four. As Mr. Math tries to step behind some defenders, not going to be able to do it. Maverick looking to set it up now. But L. Bloop comes in with a gorgeous clear. Look at that. Doesn't even touch the roof. Doesn't lose any momentum. Out front to Mr. Math. Nice save for Awesome, though. Great play read on that. SJP Sam with the demolition on the half wall. But look at this opportunity for Farmington. Oh! And they're going to capitalize. Good. The demo isn't enough. It was a sweet demo out of Sam, but the ball was already on the way, and Maverick had it under control. El Bloop all over the field as usual, just out of position, just barely out of position, yeah. but enough that Farmington ties the game. Wow, what a game. What a El series, Bloop. these two. Yeah, the back and forth has been, you couldn't have asked for a better back and forth right now. Both teams really showing us all they got. Great save out front for Mr. Math, battling at the doorstep. El Bloop now, trying to push it forward. Shot looks on. Nice save for Wonky though. Beautiful. Here we go. Clear for Farmington, El Bloop, keeping it in the zone though. Maverick, look, seeing what he can do now. Mr. Oh, Math Mr. steps Math. up, though, off the backboard. Where's the follow-up? Mr. Math looking Wants for it. it. Oh. Can't find it. El Bloop now in the corner. Mr. Math out of boost. Surely has to retreat now. Both teammates back for SJP, but Sam steps up. At the midfield, awesome now with the shot. Surely El Bloop gets back for that. Not going to let that happen, but Farmington on the attack here like we've seen all day. Turning up that offense, making it happen. Getting nice a, save for Sam, but that's a danger ball. Mr. Math off the backboard, looks to clear. Doesn't that get thing a lot is on still it. But in just Bloop. a compromising position. Oh, wonky. It is. Wonky's got something to say now. What's up, Leaving Wonky? It. Who's there as the third man there? Maverick off the oh, post. Oh, my. But El Bloop surely clears. What on earth? Ball stopped at the midfield. Awesome now. Looking. SJP Sam. Trying to bring this offense back to life. It's been a lot of Farmington in this St. John's prep zone. They're having a hard time getting this ball clear thunder. And Maverick right now setting it up. El Bloop comes out on top. Woo. Huge clear for him there. Mr. Math with the demo. Hits the ball not the right way. Knocks Sam away. Uh, Sam? Can't clear. Trouble now. You know, just when things started to turn the way of SJP. Okay, Sam gets the ball cleared. Pushing it into the corner now. Trying to get it out front. Awesome now. One to one, folks. A minute 20 to play. Are we going to see an overtime thunder? I would not doubt it. Oh, for a my second. goodness. You what happened are there? kidding me. Maverick Whoa, with the long what ball is going today. on with Farmington here? They come back after a hard loss in game three. Get it moving. Maverick, he's had like three long ball goals on the day. And Farmington is up by a goal. St. John's Prep down now with just over a minute to go, and they have got to score if they don't El want Blue their day to be it. over. Guns blazing, El Blue comes right out of the gate, firing. Nobody back, though. Maverick has an opportunity now, just him and El Blue to beat, but El Blue's going to get that ball cleared. Absolutely. Wonky stepping up on it. Nice stop at the midfield there. When you see Bloop in the goal, you got to come up with some fancier kind of trickery Ooh. than that, some sort of witchcraft to get it past him because he is a wizard in the goal. Yeah, man. St. John's Prep trying to find that goal now. Down one. They need something to happen here. Nice clear for El Bloop, though. El Bloop on the opportunity. Oh, if oh, he would have wow. put that one in the back of the net. 30 seconds. St. John's Prep tournament life is on the line, folks. They have to score to keep their shot alive. Farmington is up one. El Bloop now trying to clear. 20 seconds on the clock. Surely he knows. What a battle, folks. What an unbelievable battle. Is this is this ball going to go? Oh, my. 10 seconds left. This is in the wrong side of the zone. SJP got a clear, but that shot looks on. Mr. Math with the save. Three seconds to play. And, and Austin is going to close away. it. 
in commanding fashion, folks. There is no other way of putting it. The team that has been the bridesmaid all season and never the bride has come up and they're going home with the hardware. You have no idea what this means for Farmington. They are on a losing season and they come out and they finish third in Minnesota Varsity League State Tournament. It's Farmington with the bronze. Dude, they were wrong. See, we all thought that that car color was the Farmington car color, but they were using bronze because they knew they were going to come in and get third place today. That's what it was. I'm no. stunned. Yeah, I'm, I'm stunned, stunned too. I'm they stunned. Played... I am I am holding back emotion right now because honestly speaking, we have seen all season. We've watched it all season with Farmington. Always right there. Mm-hmm. Always. And they came back into this rematch of last weekend and they were not scared. They didn't back down. Going up uh, going up against clearly the number 2 team in Minnesota Varsity League. They come off a losing season 3 and 4. And they walk home with the hardware. There is no other way of putting it. Farmington has played unbelievable today. Yeah, man. You know, in to talk about the state tourney and how things can play out differently wow. on the day of, wow. you know, to see St. John's Prep losing in the third place match, I couldn't have said that I was expecting that at the start of the day, right? No. Farmington is a team that we've had our eye on since the start, right? And we saw how good they played in that first series. You can say it was Washington at the end of the day that they were playing against, but Farmington was playing their game, right? It doesn't matter who you play against. As long as you play your game and you implement your game plan and you work as a team, Farmington played an absolute stellar set of games today. Unfortunately, we couldn't see how the Hill-Murray games went, but to bounce back after getting 3-0'd by Hill-Murray and take out St. John's Prep in the third place match 3-1, to my hat's off to Farmington. They played an excellent day of Rocket League. And honestly, you know, looked great. Looked great today. It is literally the Cinderella story of the day. I cannot stress that enough. Farmington coming up, coming out big. They were ranked number four. They could very well have been ranked number five or six. All of those teams knew. They knew what they were coming up against in Hill Murray, in St. John's Prep, in St. Louis Park. And Farmington, after the season that they have had, after so many heartbreaks over and over and over, they come out and once again, they go home with the medal. They are our bronze, <laughs> our bronze winners on the day. Congratulations to Farmington. I, 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 I am still stunned. I'm still a little speechless. And I cannot stress to you how proud we are of you as a team. St. John's Prep. You came out strong today, and you've come out strong all season, and that is a team that we are always watching, and we are so proud of you fellas as well. But, man, right now, right now this goes to Farmington, and there's no other way to put it. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Farmington. You guys played an excellent game today. Excellent games, you know. Yeah, to, huge. For how much credit we were giving them all season long and saying that we see the things that they're doing right, and they, it just – to come short time and time again, that really wears on a team and that can either break a team or it can turn things around in a positive way. And mm-hmm. clearly we're seeing that Farmington, they got back to work, you know, they kept working and they looked great today. Yep. Like the yep. fact that they were kind of dominating SJP in their zone for a little bit is, was scary, man. Yeah. Give some yeah. of these teams time to work and surely we're going to start seeing only improvements in the MNVL. Truly. That's what we want to see, right? I mean, this right here is that, it's that story. It is that evidence of the improvement that has happened. It, I'd said it before. It's the Cinderella story on the day. And we're going to go to break here. But before we do, Farmington, this is your day. Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. We'll see you all in a few minutes.